Well, some of the babies born right before the pandemic in the early days, they are starting school this year. And the big question is being born in a world where social isolation and mask wearing was the norm, did it impact kids' development? Stephanie Valdrama looking into that for us this morning and standing by with new research that may answer that question. Steph? Good morning, Matt and Sam. Yeah, the days are long, but the years are short. And believe it or not, the early pandemic babies are now old enough to start school. So I spoke with a research scientist to learn more about what they uncovered in studying children born born in a pandemic world and how parents can help their kids acclimate to this new environment. In the early days of the COVID pandemic, Morgan Firestein, an associate research scientist at Columbia University Medical Center, was part of a team of researchers that wanted to learn more about the development of children born during a global pandemic. A world where entire countries were placed in lockdowns to prevent the spread. Self-quarantine at one point was mandatory. A world where using masks and gloves to go out in public were commonplace. Firestein and her team of researchers followed many babies born around March 2020 in New York City. We wanted to ask the question, are there any neurodevelopmental differences between those babies that were and were not exposed during pregnancy? Here's what they found when comparing babies exposed to COVID in the womb versus those who were not exposed. There were absolutely no differences on any of the domains that we measured. But there was an unexpected discovery. Firestein says there were differences in the first six months of life between children born right before the pandemic compared to those born during. Now those born during scored slightly lower when it came to gross and fine motor development as well as social development. So what does this all mean? Gross motor, that includes things like at that age, a baby rolling from their back to their belly. Fine motor are smaller movements. So is the infant reaching for a small item like a Cheerio perhaps? Um, and then personal social skills, some of the earliest ones that we might see is do they look at themselves in a mirror and coo produce those sorts of early sounds. Firestein explains while developmentally it was only slightly off, it shows the pandemic did impact at least the group of children they were studying. But she also pointed us to this study led by researchers at Massachusetts General Hospital. The study looked at more than 18,000 babies. It uncovered a trend between boys around 12 months of age born to mothers diagnosed with COVID during pregnancy. They were actually more likely to be diagnosed with a speech disorder. Um, it's a very early age to be actually diagnosing, so that probably was not a a true diagnosis, but rather just an early indicator to keep an eye on that child's language development um, and intervene if necessary. But what's really encouraging, again, is that by 18 months, even among the boys, there were no differences. Well, researchers are still tracking this group of kids as they enter the school system. So really, the research is ongoing, but they are confident that their little brains will soak in all the new experiences of school, the new environment, and really learning without a problem. But it, it's super important that parents really keep an open line of communication with their teachers and their counselors. Hi, I'm Sam Kerrigan for CBS 12 News. Click the like and subscribe buttons if you want to see more stories like this that impact you.